Hello and welcome to this introduction of PG Music's Real Band, your all-in-one audio workstation and accompaniment program. Right now we're listening to a song created in Real Band. The piano was an existing MIDI file that we opened in Real Band and added bass and drums real tracks. And here's a slow country ballad that we created by simply typing in various chords, picking a real style, and pressing generate. If your tastes are on the heavier side, here's a metal guitar solo. And again, all of the instruments were generated simply by typing in chords, picking a style, and letting her rip. And here we have some good old southern country rock. In this video, we'll show you some of the many ways to use Real Band, such as creating a new song entirely from scratch, opening and working with existing files, either from Band in a Box or Power Tracks, and adding real tracks to an existing song to make a completely new arrangement. First of all, I'll introduce you to two of the most common windows that get used in Real Band. The first is the Tracks window. This gives you an overview of all of the individual tracks, whether they're MIDI or audio. This line shows you the bar lines. This shows you whether the track is MIDI or audio. This area shows you the track title. And this area shows you the waveform, if it's an audio track, or the MIDI notes if it's a MIDI track. The other common window is the chords window. This shows you the chords of the song as they go by. There are many ways that chords can end up here. The audio chord wizard, which we'll look at later, can automatically determine the chords from an audio file. Or if you have MIDI tracks, Real Band can infer the chords based on the notes in the MIDI tracks. You can also type the chords in yourself if you're making a new song from scratch, which is what we're going to do here. I'll press New to clear this song and make a brand new song. Now I'm going to type in the chords to Will the Circle Be Unbroken, starting at bar 1 in the key of C. My first chord will be C. At bar 3, I'll type F, and then back to C at bar 4, continuing on through bar 5. At bar 6, I want a few more chords. I want C for one beat, so I'll type C, but then I want G over B at beat 2, so I'll type a comma after the C, then G slash B, then A minor, then C, G, C. I'll highlight bars 1 to 8 and press copy. I only want chord symbols. Then paste at bar 9, and ending in C at bar 17. I'll click here to set the end of my song, which I want to be at bar 16. And I want the tempo set to 130 beats per minute. So now that I've got all of these chords entered in, the next step is to pick a style. If I click here, it opens the Style Picker window, which many Band in a Box users will recognize. This dialog contains all of the styles that you have installed, whether they are MIDI styles, real track styles, or styles that combine both MIDI and audio. For this song, I'd like to pick an all real track style, so those styles are listed here in the Real Styles category. And I want this straight ahead bluegrass style. I'm going to switch to the Tracks window to watch as the tracks from the style are generated. You can see that it's now blank here since we created a new song and haven't made any tracks yet. But when I press Generate, Real Band uses the style you selected to determine which instruments should be added and uses the chords to determine what they should be playing. And you can see that the progress bar shows you as each track is made. And as each one is made, it appears in the Tracks window. Now the song is made with four bluegrass instruments all playing along with the chords you entered. If I press the solo button, you can hear the individual instruments by clicking on that track. Here's bass. Here's the banjo. Here's acoustic guitar. And a fiddle comping away. And here they all are again. and they all bring the song to a satisfying conclusion. 
So now we have some tracks generated by RealBan, but of course one of the best and most important features of RealBan is the ability to create music yourself. We can see that these tracks are now populated with music created by RealBan, but these tracks below are all free to be used, and there are plenty there for you to record onto, either with a MIDI controller or a line in from an instrument or a microphone. I'll show you a brief little demonstration of how you can record onto a track. I'll select the unused track, and I'll press Record Audio. And here I am now recording on to track 6. And now I'll play it back so you can hear that. And here I am now recording on to track 6. Now I'm going to start adding some soloists. I'd like to add a mandolin solo starting at bar 1 and continuing through on to bar 9. I'll use the first unused track and I'll highlight from bar 1 through bar 9 by clicking and dragging. You can use the snap feature if you want to make sure that the start and end points are exactly at the bar lines, but I'm not worried about that for this example. I can then right click on the track and select and generate real track. The real track I want is this one, which is the bluegrass mandolin soloist. And when I double click, the solo will be generated on this track. And we can see the progress at the top of the screen. And let's give it a listen. Now the mandolin was buried a bit in the mix there, so I'll play it again and this time I'll adjust some volume levels to bring it out. I'll increase the volume of the mandolin, and it's clashing a bit with the banjo, so I'll decrease the volume of the banjo. I'll now show you some slightly more advanced mixing techniques. I'd like the mandolin to fade out at the end of its solo, so you can do that manually in the mixer window by recording your mixer moves. I'll go to a couple of bars before the end, and then in the mixer window, I'll press this button, which is Record Only Mixer Moves. As you could see, when the mandolin solo came to an end, I faded it out so that the ending wasn't too abrupt. Now if I go back again, when I press play, it emulates exactly what I did. Now I'd like to add a fiddle solo to take over when the mandolin solo is done. I'd like to first erase the current fiddle part for that section, because in a real life situation the fiddle player would obviously stop the chording in order to play a solo. So on that track I'll highlight the region that I want to erase, and I'll select Edit Cut. I can then leave that area selected, but click on another unused track, right click, select and generate real track. I'll pick Fiddle Soloist Bluegrass. And let's give that a listen. And it joins the rest of the other instruments bringing the song to a close.